So to become an Olympian, you have to train like one. Here in the Valley, a team of expert coaches works out with athletes every day. Team 12's very own Olympian in training, Jen Wall, shows us how their specialized programs can lead to them achieving worldwide recognition. More than 215 Olympians have trained right here at Exos, just like the Valley Zone, Shane Doe. Good, Shane, we have two more reps. All right. When training to compete with the best of the best. Well, you're making it look easy. The difference is in the details. Understanding where they're at today, how long they have to train, and what they need to be able to do in their sport. Just ask Valley hockey legend. Yeah, yeah. It's... Shane Doan. For an athlete, you just show up. You know what you have to do. They hold you accountable. Doan had his Winter Olympics run with Team Canada in 2006 and he trained with Exos Performance Specialist Natalie Collars back in 2013. He's one of the best, you know, on the ice, but he works the hardest off of the ice, too. Now retired from hockey, Shane is serving as Team Canada's Olympic GM in Beijing. Time! Collars says training Olympic hockey players, so they're a high strength and power athlete, and go. focuses on high intensity and durability. Then they need to be durable because they also endure a lot of impact. From working to transfer force. In something like a hockey pass or shot. To being stable on the ice. Core strength is really important too. Natalie puts sport. Shane through exercise after exercise. Just like now it's hitting me. So now, <laughs> what was they that about do the it. Like yeah. Yeah. And when molding an Olympic athlete, it takes more than the training floor here at Exos. Outside, we have our hydrotherapy. We use this a lot for low impact sessions or recovery work. When the athletes come in as part of their intake process with our dietitian, they get nutrition recommendations, and then all their meals are created based off of that. A full circle program, Shane says, is a game changer. No Olympic athlete gets to the Olympics on their own. None. And you'll ask every one of them and they'll all point it out. And when Olympians finish training for the day, they wrap things up with a post-workout shake, which has been created just for them. For now in Phoenix, Jen Wall, 12 News.